What's up guys? I'm Nicole Poulton and in this video we're going to talk about the dreadlocks. I'm four months into having my dreads installed and I wanted to kind of talk about the pros and the cons and the tips and the tricks that I've learned. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm four months in to these beautiful dreads. So I wanted to first start out with the pros, the things that I love about my dreadlocks. My hair is always done. I mean, at least for me, I wake up and my hair is done. All I do, I sleep with it down. And when I wake up, I do this, 30 seconds, hair is done. Touch-ups can be everything. And so you see all my frizz. If I were to go through, it would take me about an hour to redo all of these. And then my hair is done for another two weeks. I have never in my life gotten compliments on my hair, but having these in, I get so many more compliments. And I didn't like, it's not like I did this for compliments, but people really like my hair. And so they let me know and I love it. Another pro is I can ride with my windows down in my car and my hair stays put. It's like bringing a pillow with you everywhere you go because where, wherever you're at, you can just bundle it all up and lay down and you have a pillow basically, mobile pillow. Another pro is how good it feels when you actually take them out to be able to move them up. I save a ton of money on actual hair products. I don't have to do anything when it comes to products. So I'm saving time and money when it comes to that. So that's something that I really, really love about the dreadlocks. Also, another pro is I have noticed when I take my hair out of the dreads, is I'm noticing my actual hair is really healthy. I don't put any heat on it and my natural oils are able to just do all of the work and the hair itself is not being damaged at all. So that's another huge pro for me. I have a terrible haircut and it hides my haircut. The biggest pro that I have really is the confidence that this has given me. It's like I'm a new person. <laughs> it's so crazy, but like it kind of reflects my personality a lot better than my normal hair does. And so that's really cool. It just like brings the confidence that I have now because I feel like I really feel more like myself with these in. So that's a huge benefit for me. Now to get into the cons. At the beginning, it was really, really heavy. When I first put these in, it took about two weeks to get used to the weight. And the weight is especially strong when you shower and you get these wet because these are like a sponge just absorbing all the water. And so it's just getting so heavy. So it took about two to three weeks for my neck and my scalp to actually get used to the weight. At the beginning, it was really hard for me to have my hair up. So like if I wanted a bun, doing this motion of moving all of my dreads back and then like, pulling them around like this, just doing this alone was really, really painful. And then like moving them around and doing all of this stuff, just like it hurt so much. It just was not fun at the beginning. It took a little while, but then after like the three weeks or something, um, this wasn't a problem. And now it's like, it's just my normal hair kind of thing. It feels totally normal. Um, when you do buns, the balance is kind of funky at the beginning. So it's kind of like a getting used to kind of situation. Sleeping was really hard. Sleeping, I honestly, you guys, it took me probably like three months to get good at sleeping with these in. It took a while and I just would lay there and try and fall asleep and just think like, it's just a matter of time. like. I just have to get used to it. I just have to get used to it. And so I finally, my trick, I've, I've heard a lot of different um, ideas for this, but um, one idea was putting your hair up in a bun and having your bun up above your head at night. And when I did that, it was like the bun itself was up here and it's like pulling me back. And so I like to turn around when I'm sleeping, like roll over and stuff. And with the big bun, you can't really move. You have to like pick up the bun and move with the bun, lay it down. It just didn't make any sense to actually get any good sleep. Some people don't like sleeping with their hair down because they feel like it strangles them. I get it. It's just so much more comfortable for me to wear it down. So I wear it completely down 
and I try and have it all behind me. And then like, I try and like have this kind of off my ear. So then I lay like this on this stuff. So, and then everything else is behind me. If I'm laying on these at all, like I won't be able to sleep very well. So sleeping might get kind of challenging. Um, but I mean, I'm four months in and it doesn't bother me at all anymore. Um, another con is it's hard to cuddle. Like Denton and I, I really like to like nuzzle in, you know, and these just kind of get in the way. And so like, I don't nuzzle as much anymore, which is kind of sad. Um, that's like probably the biggest con that I have, but whatever. Another con is uh, plenty of times I've spit on these while brushing my teeth and that's a pain in the ass. Uh, I hate it. Um, another thing is tension bumps. Tension bumps are real, they're a thing. If you section your pieces too small, so like, for, for example, like this section, it's really, really like borderline small for me. And so I, when I first put these in, I got some tension bumps right in the middle, um, just because, you know, it's pulling on just sometimes not a lot of hair. And so if the weight is too much for the hair, um, it could just make these little red bumps on your scalp that can be pretty itchy. Um, another thing, these can get itchy if you don't wash your scalp good enough. So, um, a, a couple products that I found, hold on. I bought this thing, super cool thing. So it's just like a soft pokey situation and you just like rub your scalp with it. It does a good job. I basically like lift up dreads and do it underneath. So like I would go through and do it right here, lay that down, do it right here like that and just go through your whole head and do it. Um, another thing when I'm in the shower and I don't wanna get these wet, this took me probably like three months to figure out. It was a challenge. I would be like putting up massive buns and a shower cap and trying to figure out how to put my hair up when I wanted to shower and not get the dreads wet. And then I just stumbled upon this beautiful thing. I found like this shower bag for like braids. And so it's just like this massive bag and you put your head in. I basically like, I'll do this and then like flip my head over and like let all the dreads fall into the bag. And then you can like pin it up, but then it's just like, your dreads are dry, are dry. You don't have to mess with just this whole big bun. Like it's just, showering was a challenge because if you get your dreads wet, they can be wet for hours if you don't want to like blow dry them. So that's something to keep in mind too. If you're getting your dreads wet and washing them often, like you're gonna have to work some time into that. <laughs> Um, and then depending on the kind of dreads that you have, the kind that I had had a maturing phase while they were going through the maturing phase, they would Velcro together. So that there's just like hair that's coming out embarrassingly long strands, like, like longer than six feet. I don't know how these strands can be so long you guys, but these, my dreadlocks are synthetic for anyone who missed that part. So they're fake, but it's just like, ridiculously long hair is coming out during the maturing phase if your dreads have a maturing phase. And so like, sometimes you're like, you pull a hair and if you're in public, it's just like awkward how huge it is. And it's like less like sly to like drop a hair on the ground. Cause it's just, it looks like there's just this massive amount of hair. It's crazy. The last con is that TSA gets me every time. And you have to go through the scanner and you're like hands up and you know, nothing in your pockets and stuff. I have to have my hair back every single time for that. And then they always have to come through and like pat down my back. And so it's like, it takes an extra like 10 seconds in TSA, but then they compliment your hair and everything's fine. So those are the pros and cons. And now I want to just talk about a couple tips that I've learned that makes life just so much easier with dreadlocks. Okay, so when it comes to sections, it's really, really nice if when you find ways that you want your dreads to fall, 
but you keep a note of that. So this is something that I, like I wish I would have done. And so that's why I'm telling it to you. So my two front pieces are different colors. So if you're someone who wants symmetry, make a note of that before you start putting them in, like have a place or have a plan for the coloring. Um, because then it's like you could end up with a side that's more dark versus light or whatever. It might be off balance. And so that might help. And then also recognize when you have your sections in places that you like. So if you like having a part down the middle, like recognize that and then make sure that happens next time. One thing that I am really trying to figure out is like the best placement for my earpiece one. Like, should it flow in front of my ear? Should it flow behind my ear? Should it be like low? Should it be high? Like, where do I want it? And that's just something that's going to be a personal preference. But when you find it, make a note of it. So that way, when you have to take them all out and put them back in, it's just so much easier because your plan is just, you know, you've got a system. Yeah, keep your sections clean. Um, otherwise you'll have a lot of tugging and pulling and potential breakage. If you want to mature them faster, like roll the windows down, go swimming, stuff like that. Like things that'll like tie all of the little hairs up because you're just trying to like knot it all together basically is what you're doing. I've only bought four things for my dreads. I bought the brush, I bought the shower cap, and then I got hair accessories. So I like to use this silk scarf mostly for like at home when I'm like trying to tie my hair back to do like wash my face or brush my teeth and stuff like that. Like have something to tie your hair back because you're just gonna keep like spitting on your dreads or they're gonna like get in the sink or like they're gonna just get in stuff. So have something to tie it back. And then this is something that's really cute but it has a like the scrunchie on it is massive. And so it's really nice because before my hair was so thin, it could fit in just like a little tiny elastic, you know? And these mean like some hefty, hefty help. So I don't know, it's probably cute, but that's my pros and cons, tips and tricks. Realistically though, if you're on the fence trying to decide whether you should or shouldn't get dreadlocks and you're deciding on something like this where they're like extensions, like just do it. If you're not actually dreading your hair, like you can take these out. If you don't like them, you can take them out. And honestly, there are people that will, that will buy them. So if you don't like them, you can always resell them. But if you are on the fence, just know that it does take some getting used to. There is some weight. My whole head worth of dreads is three pounds. But other than that, like, it's a huge, awesome conversation piece. It sends off really good vibes to people. So you're connecting with people who are like super chill. They're just really fun for someone who doesn't have really good natural hair. Like I don't, I, it is my dream to grow hair this long, but I don't know if that'll ever happen. And here I am able to have hair this long. And so really, if you're on the fence and you're just, you don't know, I would say just go for it, but I don't know. Those are my tips and tricks and helpful things. Um, before you go, in the comments below, if you have dreadlocks, put some pros and cons that you found because I wanna know like maybe some things that I forgot or like just help people out who don't have dreads yet. If you don't have dreads in the comments, let me know what you're most worried about and then maybe I can address it and like let you know like, yeah, that's a huge thing or like, no, don't even worry about it. You know, let me know. Anyways, I love you guys. Bye.